With record snows this winter on top of ground already soaked by last fall's flooding, St. Paul is gearing up for what could be a major flood event. Through a coordinated effort, city departments are preparing now before the river rises. St. Paul's Emergency Operations Center serves as a command post for city departments and outside agencies to gather and share information. This high-tech meeting space could be activated during a flood event. Rick Larkin heads St. Paul Emergency Management and the EOC. The Department of Emergency Management is tasked with coordination of planning efforts as well as coordination of response. We're not responders per se. We have uh, the police department, the fire department, our public works folks, our parks and rec folks. They are all true field responders. What we do in the area of response is we coordinate the effort on behalf of the city to make sure that all of the city efforts are moving towards the same common objective. So our role is really in the information sharing in the preparation, the planning, and coordination of effort while all of the other city departments and partner agencies are actually in the field doing operations and uh, protecting the public. St. Paul Public Works is the department most involved in on-the-street flood preparations and response. It's our role to protect the city's infrastructure during these flood events. Um, some of the things that we do do is uh, uh, we need to close off roads when they become impacted by the flood. I want people to understand that we put out those road closures and we're doing this for their benefit and for their protection. And, and sometimes uh, people get curious, I mean, but we want people to be safe and that's the ultimate goal for us is to make sure people are safe and city services continue to operate. So please abide by those things. And, and, and lastly, I want, again, I want to stress the fact that we've been through this. We are prepared for this. We have 12,000 sandbags already made. We're making up another 10,000 sandbags. Well, most of our uh, usage of sandbag is down along in Lower Town there uh, by the uh, Sibley Broadway uh, Jackson area, it keeps the, the uh, waters from rising. Uh, some of the other things they do is um, close off storm water because obviously when the, the, the river's that high, storm water can't run into those storm water drains. And more importantly, we don't want the flood water backing, backing up through the storm water drains into the downtown area. So please um, make sure that you follow the directions and the road closures to make sure you're safe and your family's safe. Parks and Recreation is responsible for protecting the parks we love and keeping the public safe in them, including Harriet Island at ground zero in St. Paul's floodplain. Well, we're fortunate to have a lot of great floodplain parks, and there's a reason why they're uh, parks, is because they're located in the floodplain. And we know at some point when we have high water, they're gonna flood. So in general, these parks are built to accept water, and then we plan around what we need to do at certain elevations in terms of at uh, closing roads, in terms of taking preventive measures. At uh, some point, if the floodwaters get high enough, we have to close down facilities, and then when the waters recede, we have to clean up. Whether it's the play areas, the picnic shelters, the pathways, uh, uh, if the water reaches those areas, they'll be impacted. We'll have to come in and clean up. And um, there's a different standard for cleanup for a pathway than there is for a play area and there is for a building. Uh, we take great care to make sure that uh, before we open those facilities back up to the public, they are uh, cl cleaned up and safe for the public to use. During a flood, it may be tempting to get a closer look, but respect the river. Number one, our message is stay away from the river, stay off of the river. Um, we have folks working with heavy equipment near the river, uh, placing those temporary measures. We don't want an accident to occur when those kinds of things are happening. And we certainly don't want somebody uh, to be too close to the river and then encounter some kind of a problem. The speed and the current of the river is unbelievably fast and very, very strong. We want folks to enjoy the river either through our city webcam 
or from the bluff area. Uh, Mounds Park is a beautiful city park and it has a great panoramic view of the entire river area. Uh, our park down on Kellogg Boulevard, uh, one of the bridges, those areas are great to see what's happening, but uh, we really don't want folks down by the river. When the water rises in St. Paul, you can get flood response information online, including updates on road and park closures and other flood impacts. Go to stpaul.gov.